Top 10 Best Psychological Horror Movies Hello. Do you want to play a game? These movies will not only terrify you, but will also get inside your head until they almost blow your mind. They are full of delirium and unbridled madness. Get ready! Number 10. Kill List Necessary. This is a bad start. A blood contract. What were you thinking, guys? The plot of this movie is absolutely crazy. Jay and Gal are two former soldiers who, after leaving the army, have become hitmen. According to their contract, they have to kill three people. The first target is a priest, and they would realize soon that this was only the beginning and that they were attacking the organization of a dark cult that won't let them go. Rotten Tomatoes rated the movie at 77% and the actor Michael Smiley, who played Gal, won in the category of Best Supporting Actor at the 2011 British Independent Film Awards. Number 9. Session 9 The director, Brad Anderson, who gave us this year the movie Fractured on Netflix, left me mystified with Session 9 in 2001. This film that plays with our heads trying to keep us lucid in the worst scenario, a mental institution. The movie begins with a group of workers who have been hired to restore an abandoned psychiatric hospital. This is where they keep the extreme patients. What do you mean extreme? Oh. Psychotic. Did he say psychotic? Mysterious circumstances cause group members to disappear, and to this it is added that part of the plot is revealed through flashbacks. Disturbing revelations are guaranteed while the end is coming. All of this is livened up with therapy tapes of a patient with multiple personalities, and one of them hides a terrible secret. Rotten Tomatoes provided a partial positive rating, approving it with 62%, and the Rolling Stone magazine called it a spine tingler. Just perturbing. Number 8. The Baba Duke. If you are a rookie in psychological horror, The Baba Duke is not for you. This Australian film is full of surrealism, scary personality breakdowns, deliriums to the point that you don't know how to make it make sense because it also plays with the character's perspectives. This descent into madness, full of tension, shows us how a single mother tries to deal with her son's violent outbursts. Do you wanna die? The Baba Duke is a ghoulish entity that they had read about in a book. And it seems that the more violent the dynamic at home is, the stronger the entity is. Let me in, you little Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! I told you so. It's awful, and I won't tell you more to avoid spoilers. What I will tell you is that this movie won the Empire Award for Best Horror Film, and Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 98, yes, 98% approval. Fantastic! I'm still scared though. Number 7. The Gerald's Game. Gotta say, I was, um, I was expecting you know, more novelty things like with velvet or silk or something. <laughs> Have you ever been in a toxic relationship? Love is about pain, keeping secrets, and giving in. How far can we make ourselves miserable in the name of love? That's the premise of the Gerald's Game. Jesse and Gerald go out of town trying to rekindle the passion of the marriage. However, in the middle of a sexual game, Gerald had a heart attack while Jesse is handcuffed to a bed. Being unable to move from bed, she begins her backwards journey through memories that would twist the roughest adult's mind. I mean, if it's ever going to come out, then it's better for both of us that it happened now. The Gerald's Game is based on the homonymous novel by horror author Stephen King, who also said that this movie was hypnotic, hideous, and terrifying for him. Not for nothing, the movie was approved with 91% by Rotten Tomatoes. Can we move on to the next position? Because I won't be able to sleep peacefully if I remember the movie's ending. Number 6. The Others This 2001 movie has become a psychological horror icon for its apparently simple plot but with horrifying twists. Starring Nicole Kidman as Grace, 
The Others takes us to a remote house where Grace is waiting for her husband to come back from the Second World War, along with her two children. However, the house seems to have other invisible inhabitants? And also characters beyond mysterious, who together hide a horrible truth. I'm the intruders. There are no intruders here. But you said that there were. No, I said that there are no intruders here, and I don't want to hear another word on the subject. Acclaimed by the public and critics, the others grossed a worldwide total of $210 million and won the Goya Awards for Best Film, Best Director, Best Original Screenplay, Cinematography, Editing, Art Direction, Production, Soundtrack, and it was nominated for many other categories. Ah, Nicole Kidman was also nominated for a Golden Globes in the Best Drama Actress for this film. Number 5. Fractured I've already mentioned it in this video. Fractured is the latest production of Brad Anderson and it didn't take long to get a place in this top with a terrifying premise. Where is my family? We lost my family. Maybe you're at the wrong hospital? I've been sitting there all day. Imagine you're Ray Monroe, and after an accident, you take your wife and daughter to the nearest hospital. You were told to be in the waiting room, but several hours later, you don't have any news. When you go to the front desk to ask for your family's state, they say they haven't seen them come in? The situation becomes even more frustrating when you remember a nurse insisting rudely on putting your daughter on the organ donation list. Director Brad Anderson did it a little better this time, because Rotten Tomatoes has rated the movie at 69%. But it is so recent, we should wait a little longer to know how far this film can go. Have you watched it yet? What are you waiting for? Leave your opinion in the comments. Number 4. Rosemary's Baby My baby? What, 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 do you want, what, what do you want to do with my baby? Rosemary's Baby is a classic. Mia Farrow, who plays Rosemary, is a pregnant woman who is gradually besieged by people who plot something dark about her unborn child. Paranoia? Reality? Satan? Somebody help me! It has a horrible and hopeless ending. At filming, Roman Polanski redid obsessively the takes until he could get them as he wanted them to be. This includes the scene where Rosemary eats a raw liver. They used a different liver in each scene. By the way, Mia Farrow is a vegetarian in real life, so she probably had a pretty bad time on that day. Number 3. The Blair Witch Project Do you know what's even worse than watching a horror movie? Feeling that you're inside the movie. This is fucking crazy This fake 1999 home recording makes you see from the protagonist's perspective through the camera they use during their expedition. Only with a $60,000 budget and a 35-page script, it has become the icon for excellence of the genre found footage grossing more than $249 million. The Blair Witch Project begins by telling you that this film belonged to three missing teens whose intention was to make a documentary about the Blair Witch's legend. However, soon they will be totally lost and victims of inexplicable events. What about turning around and going back? It's not the same log, Mike. Same log. Look, it's not. It is! Open your eyes! Sorry, bad idea. Number 2. The Shining Here's Johnny! Hi. Could you come back later, please? It's not possible to make a psychological horror top without including the descent into madness of writer Jack Torrance, played creepily by Jack Nicholson. Even the hardest fans of Stephen King, yes, this man again, have to recognize the book's adaptation to the big screen, directed by Stanley Kubrick, is amazing. If you're claustrophobic, you will suffer from start to end. The setting in this film is a haunting hotel in the middle of nowhere that will wreak havoc with the personality and sanity of the writer and his family. After 39 years, the sequel is finally here! Dr. Sleep In this film, Danny Torrance, who is Jack's son, is played by Ewan Obi-Wan McGregor. Have you seen it yet? Does the sequel do justice to Kubrick's masterpiece? I would like to read your opinion in the comments. Number 1. The Silence of the Lambs Closer. No, no thank you, Dr. Lecter. Help! 
1991, this movie took the Academy by storm, winning in Best Film, Best Director, Screenplay, Best Actress to Jodie Foster, who plays Clarice, and of course, the Oscar for Best Actor to Anthony Hopkins for his role of the psychopath murderer Hannibal Lecter. Oh, he's a monster. Pure psychopath. From a research point of view, Lecter is our most prized asset. And now, I will do a spoiler. Dr. Chilton will regret every word he said. This movie, based on the homonymous novel by Thomas Harris, is full of tense moments and dialogues that will make you prefer to get your head exploded once and for all, rather than just waiting for the moment when you let your guard down and die. The plot goes like this. The FBI agent, Clarice Starling, was sent to have a talk to Dr. Hannibal Lecter, who is a psychiatrist and human behavior expert, in order to win his help and identify to a serial killer called Buffalo Bill. However, you always have to keep an eye on Dr. Lecter, otherwise he will strip it off from your face. $19 million were invested in production, grossing $272 million worldwide. It was a box office bomb, as well as a brutal trauma for those who watched it, including me. I would recommend you watch it with someone else. Do you agree with my selection of psychological thriller movies? Must I have included another one? Type it in the comment box. If you enjoyed the video, click on like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of TrendMax. There are some videos here you may be into. Come on, set your curiosity free!